So the Cowboy Bebop collab came out roughly around two hours ago, and I already bought the cash skin. It made a major dent in my wallet. I'm already upset. But these are the four items that you get for free as a reward, which you will get for completing these challenges on the screen. They're not completely free, which sucks. The player icon is actually pretty good. I think it's pretty cute. It fits in with the cute versions of the profile photos. At least I think it does. It's a pretty good fit. The name card also looks pretty good. Uh, the one that goes here, obviously, I have the Spike Spiegel one. It's gonna, it probably will fit in a nice for the ball main. The weapon charm, as much as I hate weapon charms, it's a good weapon charm. Okay, like having a little dog dangling on you, your um, your gun. I, it's pretty good. It's pretty cute. And the, obviously, the legendary skin, which for some reason I can't review. Hold on. Personally, there isn't really much special about the ball skin for me. Kind of just looks kind of basic for a legendary skin. Obviously, you know the the drawings on the ball. He's actually a dog or supposed to be a dog. It's pretty good. I would give this skin overall a 7 out of 10. Could be better. But you know, it is a you know, 7 out of 10. That's my final verdict on that. It's pretty good. If I give you a, just a slow little look around here. It's it's a decent skin. They want 2,500 credits for each, which is, honestly, it's, it's a ripoff. Even the bundle itself, I would argue, is a ripoff. It's... It's just a blatant cash grab as of what's normally do. So 0 out of 10 in that aspect. But I, st I still bought Cassidy. We'll start with the Spike Spiegel Rugrats looking motherfucker himself. In the concept art, they had him with a nice white hat. Which was honestly so perfect. I will give him a little slow rotate as I speak here. But the issue that people have with him is the hair. They've, for some reason, they have made his hair look really, well, I want to say spiky, but it's not a pun. But I know the concept art and even the character as a whole, his hair is kind of one entity. And I know that would kind of be hard to do just on a character, but they didn't even try. It honestly looks like an autistic, manly version of Deku from My Hero Academia. If he transformed into the Hulk and then had AIDS. I don't really know what that analogy was, but I'm not going to take it back. His gun itself is a pretty okay shade of red. I don't know how accurate this is to any gun in the show. I've never actually seen the show. But personally, I think the gun looks a bit goofy. And the gold weapon looks even goofier somehow. And the jade weapon, that's the ugliest, ugliest thing I've ever seen. He just looks fat. Like, oh my god. The curse of the beardless Cassidy. I can't explain it. He just looks really fat. The highlight intro is... It's pretty alright. It's basic. It's not really... I get... It kind of reminds me of... If I've seen a gif of Spike Spiegel doing that, I think. I'm not entirely sure. I've never seen the show, as I said, but... It's a solid highlight intro. It's... Mm, 8 out of 10. The Spike Spiegel skin... Easily a 4 out of 10. Even the clothes themselves look a bit flat. It's not really much definition. But then again, I do play on the lowest graphics because I have a bad PC. But... It shouldn't it shouldn't affect things in the long run. It's a it's a bad skin. The finger gun is good. I'm assuming that it's from the show. The kiss is a bit cringe, especially since his mouth doesn't move towards it. So I don't think I'll ever use this in game. But it's an alright emote. Six out of ten. The weapon charm it's a weapon charm. I can't I don't like weapon charms. It's pretty basic. It's, I'm imagining, it kind of looks like it's gun, so I'm assuming his gun is now based off of the ship. Um, 5 out of 10 weapon charm. Name card, 10 out of 10, but there is no voice lines. Where are the voice lines? That's, I was, you think in a collaboration, the thing they would have a lot of would be voice lines. The easiest thing to record, and they don't, they don't do any of them. Now we have Ed, look, look, there's, there's not even a highlight in, What? Okay, you don't don't buy this one by itself. What is that? There's no highlight intro. There's no weapon charm. What? Why? Why is that? Anyway, for some reason they always make the characters really fucking thick. But um, the good skin. This is the one that looks the most like the trailer, from what I know. Uh, it's pretty good. I don't see any issues with the skin. Oh, the dog. There's a little dog in the the pocket there. It's very, very, very good. People who like sombre feet are going to enjoy the skin. I can kind of see them popping out there. Let's look at the emote. I have no words, but this is a very... It's a... I don't play sombre, but this is a good emote. It's a... It's... I'm pretty sure... 
a lot of people will be using this. It's a good emote. I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. The skin genuinely gets a 10 out of 10. This is probably one of the best Sombra skins there is now. The name card... The name card, not so much. That's kind of disappointing. I don't know why it's pink, either. Like, I get um, Sombra's, you know, pink, purple, whatever. But she seems to be... Per orangey? No, I was going to say purple. Orangey in character vibes. If they made it orange, probably would have looked really good. This one, to me, feels kind of forced. And what I mean by this is, yeah, sure, Margot is probably a good pick for it. But Margot is a terrible hero. I, I do not see many people maining Margot or wanting to main Margot. I feel like the only reason they have made this skin is to try and get people to play Margot. It's a good skin. I'm not going to lie and say, oh, it's a bad skin. It's a good skin. I've looked at the character it's based off of. It's very accurate. But it's Malga. So, based on that information, 8 out of 10. Solid, solid skin. A+. Plus. Uh, weapon charm, it's a fucking tree. I, I'm assuming this has something to do with the, the actual show itself, but this is just a bonsai tree. There's, there's just nothing special about, about this. 1 out of 10. The name card is fucking ugly. What is this? If anyone puts this on, I'm going to assume you have cancer and start contacting Make-A-Wish for you. Maybe we can get the fucking Malga voice actor come see you by your bedside and just finger your asshole, maybe. Maybe that'll make you um regret paying for this shit. So, basically, don't buy these two. If you want to buy these two, you are better off just buying the full bundle here. Okay, Ash does not have an emote. Ash does not have an emote, but Faye Valentine, Bob is... Bob is fucking beautiful. Look at this work of art okay look at this work of art it's not very vibrant but it's i like him i love him Bay valentine people simp for this character as far as i know you know because she's quite a lot of skin showing and i know there was a controversy about the show there's no one wanted to make toys for Faye valentine because of her outfit but um yeah the the, the tits are there they're definitely there and if you actually look in the this bit, she has an ass crack, which I did comment on in my uh, Cassidy video, which I uploaded before this, which you should definitely go and watch if you're here, by the way. I can already imagine there are people who are buying Faye Valentine just to die on purpose so they can try and get an angle on either the tits or for some reason the massive gap that is between the back and these very revealing pants, I'm assuming. I know that's a weird thing to say and I know I'd be like, oh, why are you looking at it like that? I don't know. I'm an Overwatch player. Do you think I do anything other than look at Overwatch porn or SFM models fucking each other with tentacles? That's a joke, by the way. I've never ever in my life looked at Overwatch porn. Unless it's that one image of Malga with a cock the size of a planet. Which I'm hoping everyone has seen because it's the funniest shit I've ever seen. And if you can't find it, rip you. Because that is probably my favorite image on the internet just because of how... Someone had to draw that. That's oh, sorry, I'm getting off topic here. Look at the highlight intro. It's um, it's good. It's it's good. Can you imagine if Overwatch just conformed to the fact that half of their community are just porn addicts? They could have just included something about tits, and then everyone would be like, "Oh my god, I'm gonna pay so much money just so I can play better and have tits on my screen for half a second. It'll work. It would probably work a lot more than their marketing strategy right now." The basic pose, she's definitely going to have back pain pretty early on in her life, but that's a, it's a good pose. Um, I'm sorry, Faye Valentine, 11 out of 10. This is a good skin. I will not be buying... Oh, God. Oh, God, it's so tempting. I will not be buying this skin, but it's 11 out of 10. Highlight intro, 8 out of 10. It's okay. Coat's gun. Uh, oh, my. Uh, 5 out of 10. It's not very good. Dynamic, okay, this is 10, 10 out of 10 skin. Bob is, um, Bob is quite literally holding the whole cheek. People are jealous of Bob right now. Holy sh- He's got the whole world in his hands. You ever sing that song when you're in primary school? When you, when you were trying to make your parents proud of you? And it's never worked. Yeah, me too. Yeah, I, I relate. <laughs> hey, Valentine. Um, there's too much going on in this. You can't really- you can't really tell. What the? That doesn't really look like Ash either. So that's that's a genuine zero out of ten. That's a bad calling card. Why is Spike Spiegel Cassidy the only good one here? Like horrific. 
I actually don't think there's any voice lines here. Why is there no voice lines? They're the easiest things to make. Well, it's an okay club. The, the skins are overpriced. Uh, the main theme is Cassidy, whether you like it or not. It doesn't matter how good the face skin is. Cassidy was the main push point of this, and they fucked them up. They, could, they did him so dirty, and it is a shame. Well, other than that, it's it's okay. The challenges for the free skin, it's pretty pretty all right. So they're actually offering free skins. There's no voice lines. Some people are missing emotes. Some people are missing highlight intros. It feels very inconsistent and thrown together. Like they didn't have anyone in the creativity department to think up ideas for everyone to be like, oh, we have one idea here. Let's put it on this one and then not do it for the other three. So now it feels really imbalanced because if you think about it, Sombra, they they have technically priced the Sombra skin higher than the others because of the stuff you get. You don't get as much stuff in Sombras as the others. I would say the only skins not worth buying here are the Sombra and Malga skin. If you're going to buy them, I would genuinely opt to go for the actual full bundle of all four because it's just, you're wasting money if you want to buy them separately. Like I know... They're overpriced anyway, but if you're spending money on Overwatch, you can probably spend a bit more. I barely wanted to spend money just to get the Spike skin, but I'm a cash player and I have to make content for him, so I have to, you know, I actually have to put funds into the game, which I never wanted to do. It's just a big disappointment, but anyway, that's the review of this. That's all the time I have for you. If you do enjoy my videos, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And if you are subscribed to me, I, I'm sorry for uploading three times today. I am rarely bored. But don't forget to join my Discord. It's ever-growing. There's a lot of cool people there for you to meet. And a lot of them do play Overwatch. So if you ever need someone to play with, you can find someone in there. But thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.